We are to have a quick look at the heat pump system installed in my own house, which consists of a Nibi S 1155 ground source heat pump, a Nibi 300 litre unvented hot water store, it's got the Nibi mechanical ventilation and heat recovery, and also 174 square metres of uh, underfloor heating. In addition to that, we've also got 4.2 kilowatts of overroof PV and 19 kilowatts of battery storage. So we have a small plant room in the house just off the utility area. So we've got the 1155 heat pump, the cylinder and the underfloor heating manifold located in here, along with all the other uh, electrical components of the house. This system is actually powered off a small river we have on the property, but as ground source heat pumps can collect energy from surface soil and also borehole collectors. It's just in our case we had access to the river, so we have what, what, we, ha what we have here is an open loop system. So there's the various bits, bits of kit. The Nibi interface, as usual, is very clear set out. We've got the home screen. If we swipe across we've got our temperatures here. So that's our current indoor climate and that's our target temperature. We come across here and that's our hot water currently sitting at 57 degrees. And then we've got our ventilation system which is also control controlled through this one interface. And then we've got scheduling. And that's our energy log for the property. So control of this system, we don't have, as typically how we do things now, we do not have individual room thermostats anymore. So what we have is the underfloor heating manifold, that you can see here. And what we have on that is uh, each, it's, it's zonalized into rooms. And on that we have flow restrictors. So what we have with the Nibi system is we have the intelligent controller, which is part of the machinery. And then we also have a digital display. Now that's our single temperature reference point. We don't have anywhere else in the home that we have a, a sensor. This is our main point, so we reference the temperature from this, this place. We also, well the Nibi system then uses that, consisting of that, the, the target temperature, what you've asked it to do, what the actual outdoor temperature is, and what the weather forecast is likely to be for the next 24 hours. And it'll adjust the system automatically to get to your target and keep it there in the most efficient way. Now, if you want rooms that, that were maybe to be cooler than the main space, so say we had the target there set to say 20 degrees, but we want the bedrooms to be a wee bit cooler, maybe around about 18 degrees or thereabouts, what we simply do, rather than have third party controls, which tends to complicate and in some ways make the system less interactive, what we do is we just, if we want a bedroom, if we wanted bedroom two, for example, a bit cooler, what we would do is manually turn down the flow rate to that room, which in turn will decrease that room temperature. Now we would just adjust that room, maybe over a couple of days until you got it to the way you, you wanted it, and then you would leave it at that. And we find that, makes the best use of the Nibi technology and also sort of simplifies the controls element which sometimes can get a bit out of hand and quite complicated. That's just how we do things anyway. This system was installed by Ferguson Energy in June 2022.